Time to break out the cassette player. Hey guys, Sean here from Everyday Aficionados with a new beer from Grimm. This one is their Magnetic Tape. Really cool can to this one, by the way. Just wanted to mention, but it's a single IPA at 6.4% ABV. This one is a cousin of their Magnetic Compass, which Magnetic Compass is brewed with Mosaic and Rakao hops. This one is brewed with Mosaic and Matueka. So really liked Magnetic Compass. Looking forward to trying this one. Oh wow, so really, really sweet, overly ripe tropical character to this one. Like a really, really ripe mango papaya type note. Just like juicy, dripping, overly ripe, really ripe cantaloupe melon character coming through. A little bit of a citrusy note in there too, slightly zesty. I know Matueka has like a lemon limey type character and I get a little bit of that coming through. But man, it just smells like really ripe tropical fruits, really sweet smelling, a little bit of that candied, grim type character coming through, really soft. Cannot wait to taste this thing. Cheers. Yep, that is a grim IPA to a T, next to no bitterness. Super ripe, candied, sweet, tropical, citrusy-like characteristics coming through. Again, like overly ripe papaya, overly ripe mango. Really sweet cantaloupe melon character. Pretty sweet IPA, but not cloyingly sweet. It has a, a bit of a dryness to it. But yeah, that lemon limey Matueka character comes through as well. Really zesty. Uh, definitely comes through more in the taste than it did on the aroma. The malt character is a little bit grainy and bready, but definitely takes a back seat to the hop character in this one. In terms of body, it's like medium to medium minus. It's not like crazily creamy or anything like that. A little bit of soft carbonation to it. On the back end, I get just a little bit of a piney, herbal, grassy character and a tiny, tiny kiss of bitterness, but really not much bitterness to speak of at all in this beer. Really drying finish to this one. On the finish, you get more of that grassy character, more of that lemony, citrus type character, a little bit of pithy grapefruit as well. All right, so for my final thoughts on Magnetic Tape, this one's gonna get a really solid A from me. I don't think I like this one as much as Magnetic Compass, but it's still a really nice and easy drinking IPA from Grimm. Again, little to no bitterness to this beer. It's just sweet like fruity hop candy characteristics. It's really tasty, but at the same time, I just got done reviewing In Perpetuity from Treehouse, so that might hurt the rating to this one a little bit because In Perpetuity is amazing. But to be honest, I'm not really blown away by this one. It's just a solid, easy drinking IPA from Grimm. Check it out if you can get your hands on it. Have you guys tried Magnetic Tape? What do you think of it? How do you think it compares to Magnetic Compass? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, drink responsibly and passionately. Thanks for watching.